Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the HD texture packs for Gran Turismo 4 for the PS2 emulator. Uh, a lot of people are kind of, you know, timid about getting this done because they think it's uh, hard to do. Uh, with this video, it is super easy to get this installed and working. Now, this is assuming you already have the PS2 emulator installed in your system. So what I'm going to do is show you the steps that you need to do in order to get these HD textures to work. So first thing uh, is we're going to download the packs. So you're going to go to these two websites. I did put the link in this to the description. So the first one you want to go to is the uh, Gran Turismo 4 Retexture Mod Pack. So you're going to download these files that are here. These here are the same mod. It's just uh, two different, you know, download links. So go with whatever link you prefer. Then you're going to download... Uh, 301, 302, 303, and 304, and you're going to extract them in the order, uh, you know, of the numbers into your uh, directory, and I will show you what that is. If you've already used the emulator, you're going to have a uh, folder in your documents folder, and that's where everything needs to go. Now, one quick step here, uh, or one, not a quick step, but a uh, mention here, they say the best one to use is the... Uh, the one they call the online version of the game. Uh, so what we're going to do is, you know, depending on whatever, you know, which one you have, it's going to depend on what you're going to use for the numbers. So let's go ahead and launch the emulator here. And I'm going to show you how to get that serial number that you need. So just go ahead and launch the emulator. Then you're going to go to the version of the game that you have. I have both of them. So as you can see, I have uh, Gran Turismo 4 and the online public beta. That is supposedly the best uh, one in terms of graphics. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and right click on this one. We're going to hit properties and we're going to get this number here. Now, keep in mind, this is for the online public beta. So depending on the version that you have, this number may match it or it may not. And that's dependent on your version. So what you want to do is just make sure you go ahead and click select all. You're going to copy that number. Then once you have that set, you can go ahead and close that window. Go into the uh, your documents folder, PCS at two textures. You're going to right click and you're going to create a new folder. And you're just going to paste that serial number in there. Now, I already have it, as you can see, so I'm going to go ahead and click no. But uh, if you don't have it, obviously, you're going to go ahead and create that folder. Once you create that folder, what you're going to do with these is extract them in the order uh, that they're numbered. So the first one is going to be retexture mod. So we're clicking on that. And you notice you have a replacement folder. Simply drag and drop that folder into the folder you just created. And then once that's done, keep in mind that will take a long time because that zip folder has thousands of files in there. So it may look like it's not working, but just give it time because it will take a while to extract. The other folders look a little bit different. So just we're going to double click on one of those. So you'll notice it's got the name of the mod. You're going to click inside that folder. You're going to have two file or two folders, cars and trucks. So you're going to do the same thing. Take those and drag them into the folder you just created. And you're going to do the exact same thing with all the other retexture mods keep in mind that you need to do this in order so one two three and four uh, once you have all those done you want to do the hd ui texture pack so we're double clicking on that open that and you're going to take the replacements folder and also go ahead and put that in textures so you want to make sure you pick the actual folder within textures first corresponding to the game so you would just double click that folder and that should be the one that already has the replacements folder in there. So once you drag and drop this, it's just going to overwrite, you know, the folder name and just take the files and put them in there. Now, if you want to use alternate textures and so forth, you can just open up this readme file and it'll tell you what the other, uh, you know, what the other uh, alternate textures are for. As you can see, the folders have the explanations right there. So if you want to use one of those, you would just do the same thing. Double click, go inside there. If you want to do the replay. You click on that and then you will drag the replay folder into the replacements folder. And, you know, so forth for the other ones. Now, once you have that done, the emulator is set to go ahead and use the packs. You do need to change uh, some settings in there in order to get this to work. So let's go ahead and launch the emulator. If you follow this to the 
you know, 100% when I tell you, you should have no problems and you should have the game looking uh, as sharp as it can with the uh, new HD textures. Keep in mind, you need to follow this to the T. There's certain uh, settings on there that uh, a lot of times are used for different games. Uh, the two biggest examples are the map mapping feature and also the th uh, dither. Those need to be off in order for the game to look the best and also some settings within the game. So I'll show you how to get that set up. So first thing you want to do, if you've uh, installed the emulator for the first time, you want to go to settings. Or actually here, we're going to go to tools first tools and you want to make sure this show advanced settings section is on. If you do not click this, it will not show up in the regular settings. So make sure that is on. Tools, show advanced settings. Now we can go ahead and hit settings. Or you're going to see this folder here that says advanced. Once you click on that, you want to make sure all of these are set to default. So literally all you're doing is matching the settings on here. There's no need to go through a lot of explanation. Just make sure everything you see checked on mine, it's checked on yours. And then we're going to go into the game specific profile and do it for the game. So make sure all these are set on here. So just copy everything you see on here or not copy, but just make sure it's checked on yours. Okay. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on close. And now we're going to go to the pregame settings. Now this is important because like I said, a lot of the games will have different, uh, you know, things that need to be on or off depending on the game. So on here, we're going to right click on the Gran Turismo public beta or whatever, you know, version of Gran Turismo 4 you have. Once you've done that, we're going to go to properties. Now we're going to go here. Now, quick word of note, uh, a lot of people have discovered that the, uh, you know, the graphic setting is dependent on the CPU that you have. Uh, one of the renders may work better than the other one, depending on what you're running. So let's go over here. Now, summary interface and stuff like that, you don't really need to mess with. Uh, emulation can be left as is right here or you can change these to your settings preferably you want to leave vertical sync on so the game syncs you know to the frame rate of your uh, uh, monitor patches you can go ahead and enable those from here if you want to they have different ones widescreen and so forth uh, as you see here I like putting the uh, uh, trigger sensitivity uh, activated on there so these are all just up to you what you want to check or uncheck on that uh, game fixes do not mess with those now for graphics now here for me i have an amd card so for me the red 3d 12 works uh better than vulcan if you have a video card uh the vulcan may work better for you than the direct 3d 12. so that all depends on your cpu you can go ahead you know and change the settings and see what works best for you now once you go on here we're going to do the same thing just copy all the settings that you see on here you want to make sure that anti-blur is checked. Now we're going to go to rendering once you've matched everything on the screen. So this you can kind of mess around with, you know, the higher you can go. Uh, if your CPU is more powerful, you, you know, choose that on here. Fixture, uh, filtering I left to the standard. Try linear automatic default here. Now dithering this one here, you want to make sure this is set to off. If you leave it on, the game is not going to look anywhere near as good as it should. For other games, this is a benefit. For this one, it is not. So make sure dithering is off. Same thing with mip mapping. Make sure that is unchecked. Uh, use global settings basic recommended now back in the day you this would actually make a difference if you set it higher it with the new emulation it doesn't seem to have uh, much of an impact at least that I could have uh, you know noticed on the screen so I'm going to leave that at uh, blending accuracy recommended then the audio you can go on here and uh, pretty much set those to what you see here memory cards pretty much you know it's on its own it'll work on its own so you shouldn't have to mess with that so with that said uh the emulator should now be ready to do its thing now you want to make sure that you go on here one more setting you want to make sure that it is set to read the uh hd folders so i think i may have bypassed that so you want to go to graphics so we're going to go to texture replacement now you want to make sure these two are checked do not check pre-cache textures do not check any of the other ones so you want to load textures and also this one here 
post-processing, I set it to default. I got the regular uh, FX double A checked on here. Shade boost, you want that. And then you can put the, the actual, you know, if you want to add a filter to that, you can do that here. My preference, if you have a, you know, a high definition monitor, you're probably not going to want to go anything besides the scanline filter. But then again, that all depends on what you want. So you can choose any other ones you want here, or you can also just also leave it at none, which is default. So that's up to your uh, preference. The OSD, I'm pretty sure I left everything here on default. Recording, I'm not messing with, so I left that alone and advanced is here so on this one you want to make sure everything matches what you see on here also and then once you've followed all those settings on there you should be good to go now remember if you do that that will be per the game that you've chosen if you just do the standard settings and you leave the uh, game properties alone it may not work so you want to make sure that for the Gran Turismo 4 you do the settings that I showed you here in your you know per game uh, options here so you would right click on properties if you see this up here then you're changing just the properties for that game so now i'm going to launch the game i'm going to show you some other settings that you want to load on here so what i'm going to do is load this uh fresh boot here and i'm going to show you the differences and the things that need to be activated if you don't follow these the game will not look as good as it can with the settings that i'm going to show you to change now, keep in mind, I do have the scan line feature on here. So right now, I believe everything is set correctly. You notice it says MIP mapping is disabled. If you see this HD, HUD window come up, that means the uh, HD texture is loaded correctly. So we're going to go ahead and let this load here real quick. If you don't see that HD uh, screen come up, that means the textures are not loaded. So you may want to double check and make sure you clicked on that option to get them to load. So we'll go ahead and bypass the movie here. We're going to go directly into the game. So once you do this, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and, and go over to your options. And then on here, we're going to go to some settings. So you want to go to screen. You want to make sure that the video output here says progressive. If you leave it on anything else, the game is not going to look as well as it should. So matter of fact, here, what I'm going to do is actually show you what it looks like without that setting. So this is what the default would be from within the game. So let's just jump out of here and I'm going to show you here real quick what this looks like. So this way you'll be able to notice the difference. So we'll just launch a quick game here. So I want you to go ahead and kind of look at this really good here so you can see the differences from uh, that setting not being changed. So as you can see, it does look good there, but you can tell it still looks a bit blurry. So now I'm going to go ahead and jump out of here and we're going to go ahead to the spot where I told you earlier and we're going to go ahead and reset that to uh, the other setting. So I'm just going to jump out of here, close the game and relaunch it. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, activate that setting that I showed you earlier. So just go ahead and launch the game again. And then we're going to jump into the options setting here really quick. And once that's uh, up, we're going to go ahead and change that. All right, so let's get that option window loaded here. Oh, 
all right now we're in the options section here so we're going to go back to screen and we are going to pick video output progressive 480p we're going to click on ok as you can see the screen does look sharper here even on the menu So now that we have that option picked, we're going to go ahead and launch the game again. And you'll notice the game is going to look a lot crisper and sharp. So let's go ahead and launch the exact same uh, track here. And you're only going to notice the difference when you're, you know, when you're actually in the track here. There you go. So as you can see, super clear. You can even make the uh, the notice on the differences on the H uh, D G U I there. So that is the best way to get the game to look 100% uh, its best with the uh, you know settings that are available now. So with that said, that is the end of the video. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comment section. If you make use of the video, go ahead and please give me a thumbs up. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Have a good one.